so we've cut out a piece of wood. I use the scroll saw, um, but you can use a keyhole saw, a coping saw, a hand saw. You can use a hacksaw. The wood's really, really soft. It's not, it's not cut out good. It's, this is rough cut out. So we're fixing to, the next step is to cut our bill angle. And you can use whatever angle you want, but generally I, I use the same angle. So I use the little pattern that I've got. And what I do is I, I put it in the, the little pattern tool that I've made and I cut it out. And you generally you slide it inside the tool and then slide it through the, the saw and cut the bill angle before we actually start sanding. So that's the next step. I won't show you that on the YouTube. Going so I've cut my bill angle as deep as I need to go for the circuit board bill we're going to use for this bait. I'm just going to take a little piece of fine. This is actually medium sandpaper. It's like 150 maybe 200. I'm going to slide it in that little bill slot. A little bill slot I just cut and just slide the sandpaper through it. Just open it up a little bit. Now we're on to the next, next step. Alright, so I've cut my bill angle. I cleaned it out a little bit with the sandpaper. The next step is we need to make and install the belly plug, which is going to be our bottom hook hanger and the weight for the lure, which will give it, its, you know, make it sit right in the water, swim right and everything. Generally, you don't need but three grams or a little more for a bait of this size and balsa wood. But I'm not going to use the, I, I buy a lot of already poured uh, lure belly plugs. This is one that's lead. It's got a hook eye on it and you drill a hole and this just sinks into the balsa wood. But I'm going to show y'all how to make this yourself so you don't have to buy something special other than the bill. So... We're going to make that next and drill our hole in the bottom of the lure for the plug. Yes. This is O35 stainless steel wire. Um, you can buy it in a lot of different places. Actually, you can actually get it at uh, home improvement stores sometimes for uh, floral stuff. Um, that didn't come from there. That was purchased through a tackle company or whatever. But your local Bass Pro Shops usually has wire, leader wire, that kind of thing that you can use to, to make this. Essentially, we're going to make something similar to this. This is going to be a belly plug homemade instead of store bought. Um, you can use wire. I have, when I was first playing with lures, I actually used paper clips. The big heavy paper clips. Not desirable because they're, they're not tough. You'll break them. But I did that learning how to make lures. So be resourceful. Um, floral wire works for this. But if you can find stainless steel leader wire that's pretty stiff, most of this wire is pretty stiff. You got old spinner baits or stuff with smaller wire. I've even got some busted up pieces of an Alabama rig right here. So don't throw that stuff away. We'll use a piece of this wire right here instead of using that new wire. We'll just do it like y'all would do it at home. All right, we got a piece of wire. I'm going to show you a few things. These are some specialty pliers that you can buy at Michael's or any craft store. Most of you guys won't have them. They're really good for bending wire. They got a little concave thing that bends the wire for you. You grab the wire like this and squeeze it. It bends it around a little shaft. Makes a real nice round bend. Anyway, um, another little jeweler, jeweler pliers. They're com completely round. Um, we're not going to use them. We're going to use plain old needle nose pliers that you have at home. Another little tool you could get at Netcraft or somewhere is this little wire bending buddy here. It's actually called the Easy Twist or something. Um, quick Twist. It makes the best ones ever. So we're not going to use it either. We're going to do what you guys would have at home. So we're going to grab our wire and we're going to basically just bend it around our pliers. Make a nice loop. You can straighten that up a little bit with your pliers real easy. Once you get your loop started, you stick your pliers in there and you take and just wrap it around. Okay. So we'll do that and then we'll come okay. back to We got our wire twisted around. We wrapped it around the needle nose pliers and then twisted it with our thumb real hard. This, this wire is not too stiff. It's pretty soft so you can, you can do that with a stainless steel wire. We're going to cut this little tag off of here. And then we've got our weights ready several weights you could use. You could even use a little split shot. But I've got some little online, on the line little crimp weights. Um, 
long thin weight and I've also got what's known as a mojo weight easy to find at Bass Pro Shops or anywhere it's a little cylindrical weight with a hole through it so we'll probably use this little cylindrical mojo weight to make our belly plug and there's all different sizes of little crimp weights that you can use a lot of catfishmen use these longer weights they're not a little split shot but a regular split shot will do so we got our wire twisted and made I'm gonna cut off that little tag so I got a regular little pair of cutters cut our tag off real close to the to the end so we got a nice clean loop and this was off of an umbrella rig so we're gonna cut it off about right here we don't need that much wire we'll save that wire for another part of the lure we need to determine how much weight we need for our lure. So this is the mojo weight with the hole in the middle. The wire will go right through the right through the weight like that. So we probably don't need that much weight. If you had a scale you could start cutting cutting the weight and get it to the size you want. If it was three or four grams it's more than enough for the boss of wood. So I know about where to cut this. I've done a lot of them but we're gonna cut it off and make our belly pull. All right. So I cut off our little mojo weight I don't know if you can see that or not. It's got a hole through it and I cut it off using little side cutters. They're like gate cutters but you could use just regular any any side cutter. It's lead, it's soft, you could use just wire cutters. Cut it off and then you push your wire push your wire through the hole that's in it and there you go that's going to be our belly plug. What I'll do is I'll cut the stainless steel wire off right here and this will be inserted into the lure when we drill our hole before we sand it. Now this is our lure that we cut out. The bill slot's already cut so now we're going to drill a hole centered up on this little spot right here with a hand drill the size of this weight and then slide it in. We're just going to drill it as deep as we cut the weight. So we're going to do that next and I'll show you that.